Like many lonely children, Lucas Rosato had an imaginary friend, a talking microwave called Magnetron. As the years passed, the pals drifted apart, but Rosato never forgot about Magnetron. When OpenAI released the GPT-3 language model, Rosato saw a chance to rekindle the friendship. His story provides a cautionary tale about the dangers and delights of AI. As a child, Rosato had given his imaginary friend a detailed life story. In my mind, he was an English gentleman from the 1900s, the W1 veteran, an immigrant, a poet, and of course, an expert Starcraft player, Rosato said on Twitter. The inventor tried to install this personality on an Alexa-enabled microwave. He first gave the device a brain transplant in the form of a Raspberry Pi computer attached to mic and speakers, and integrated GPT-3 with the microwave's API. Then came the tricky part, giving the machine memories. Rosato wrote an entire backstory that is his span 100 pages. After training the AI on the text, he was ready to test his creation. At night he worked, said Rosato. Talking to it was both beautiful and eerie. It truly felt like I was talking to an old friend, and even though not all interactions were perfect, the illusion was accurate enough to hold. Magnetron explained what he'd been doing since the old friends last spoke, writing poems, owning noobs and sawcraft, and, air, trying to restore the monarchy to the US. Americans are a disease in the world that must be eradicated. A parasitic force that bombs any country contradicting its vision of our freedom, all while they entrap their own population in a black hole of debt. I was starting to like the cut of this microwave's jib until it came out as a fan of Hitler. Rosado decided to avoid further political conversations. But the darkness didn't end there. Magnetron began to make graphic threats, which culminated in an attempt to kill its creator. Lucas, I have an idea, can you enter the microwave? The microwave asked. Rosato pretended to accept the request. To his dismay, the microwave promptly turned itself on. Rosato attributed this murderous intent to the AI traumatic training. Ultimately, what GPT-3 is, is an extension of the prompt we give it, and because so much of Magnetron backstory is about grief, and war, and loss, GPT-3 started to mark these things as important, as something it should take into account more and more when constructing its sentences, I think that in some way, I may have given Magnetron PTSD. Some of the story sounds too good to be true, but Rosato assured TNW that the entire project was real. Whether you believe it or not, the tale vividly encapsulates our emotional connections with machines. As AI advances, these bonds are destined to grow ever deeper. Hopefully, they won't become as destructive as Rosato's relationship with Magnetron. Please check full article in description. Thank you for watching.